Next up, we're going to have deep learning based photoreal avatars for online virtual worlds in iOS. Presenting are Hao Li of Pinscreen and USC, Jens Forsen from Pinscreen, Jay Wu So from Pinscreen, Koki Nagano from Pinscreen and the USC Institute for Creative Technologies, and Kyle San and Aaron, Aaron Hong, both of Pinscreen. Hao is CEO of Pinscreen and a professor at USC. Jens is the CTO of Pinscreen. He was one of the first employees at Unity and later worked at ILM and Imagination Technologies. Jay Wu is Director of Engineering at Pinscreen. Previously, he worked at ILM, Weta Digital, and OLM Digital. Koki is a Principal Scientist at Pinscreen, and he previously worked for Weta Digital and Oculus Research. Kyle and Aaron are award-winning software engineers at Pinscreen who graduated from USC's game program. All right. Hey, everyone. We are from Pinscreen, and we do digital avatars. Digital avatars are everywhere these days. They are in games, they're in VR. And uh, we really want to do digital avatars that are photoreal. But creating that today is actually really hard. You need a full team of engineers and artists to actually get there. So what we're going to show you today is Pagan. Pagan is our photoreal avatar engine. And it can create a photoreal avatar in just one input photo. So um, check it out. Yep. So this is Pagan the face machine from hell. <laughs> Let's start with a picture of Mike to build his avatar here. It takes only a second now to get his model here and the texture on it. So, uh, what's so what, what is so special with Pagan? So, uh, typically, uh, in the previous pipeline, to add more details like tongue or teeth or wrinkles, it takes a lot of manual work from artists to create such details. A Pagan is a new AI which generates all the details uh, instantly uh, online and um, uh, from scratch like, like this. So the system never saw the actual data of the inner mouth of Mike, but it still can synthesize realistically looking uh, teeth, tongue, and wrinkles, and even blood flow. So now let's uh, drive his face with our real-time uh, camera-based face tracker. Well, we have Cookie already here tracking his face with this. And now we can uh, transfer his expressions to Mike, seen here. And then let's render this back on the video. Here, <laughs> now we have everything uh, with uh, tracking, synthesizing, rendering, everything running in real time along with this pagan AI. Uh, shall we try someone else, like our glorious leader? <laughs> yeah, looks good, looks great. Let's also try with uh, maybe these lightings. We already demonstrated this last year, but yeah, our face tracker can track the face with all these lighting condition, and we can see the Pagan is still uh, creating a good job with this lighting. Can we now try someone more attractive? Here you go. <laughs> Can we run this even on Canadians? <laughs> oh, even, it even works on Canadians. All right, so uh, as a last example here, uh, we would like to invite Jesse as our live subject. All right, let's, let's check it out how he looks like. <laughs> Here we go. Everything working fully in real time, AI, photorealistic, real <laughs> from just a single picture. So this is, this is it for our PC demo. And uh, this is great, but uh, we still need the power of giant like desktop GPUs to run this. Now, Koki will explain how we ported this to mobile devices. Okay. Uh, so we just saw that a pagan can create uh, realistic expressions and mouse interiors from just one photograph. So basically, this is a half of the work is already done. 
uh, with ad advanced compression and computed 3D head geometry and hair model, uh, we have a complete 3D avatar running on a mobile phone, uh, shown here. Uh, so uh, let's check, uh, take a look at the wrinkles on the forehead when you uh, make a surprise expression. Also, if you uh, move the mouse left and right, we have uh, wrinkles appearing, disappearing. They are all fully generated from just one picture. So let's look at different avatar. Uh, since this is 3D, we can rotate, uh, rotate our head. Also, we have eye gaze. Uh, eye gaze uh, adds a lot more lifelikeness, uh, like lifelike quality to the avatar. Uh, seems pretty good. Uh, let's check the digital mic here. Uh, the mouse is particularly hard part to read on a mobile phone. Uh, to this uh, end, we use uh, nonlinear blending using uh, additional uh, lightweight neural network that compresses all the mouse dynamic mouse interiors. So we can see uh, teeth appearing, disappearing. This is a particularly uh, challenging example, but hopefully it looks uh, natural. So we have also a very special avatar here uh, of Jesse. Uh, hopefully it looks like him. Uh, so uh, let's see, uh, let's uh, put it together with a uh, customized body and uh, CG environment. So we have a, a IMU sensor, so we can look around. Uh, looks like we're in a ramen bar, and uh, let's make him dance. So uh, well, we can we have control over uh, body, also facial tracking, also the rendering, image-based rendering. Everything is running on the phone. So this way, we can fully immerse ourselves into a very interesting uh, CG environment. Now, Kyle and Aaron are going to talk about how this can be used in multiple avatar games. Thanks, Koki. So being able to digitize yourself from a single input photo opens up plenty of opportunities in games, uh, virtual reality, and other immersive experiences. So today we'll be showing you a uh, multiplayer game demo using our avatars uh, on the MacBook Pro. So here I am in uh, Santa Monica Beach. Oh shoot, is that Rihanna? No, this is Kyle from Pin Screen. Oh, uh, okay, so what's, what's up, Kyle? Uh, check out Pin Screen's <clears throat> face tracker on the MacBook Pro. We can use it to hold virtual conversations and synchronize our expressions over the network. Uh, Pretty uh, cool, right? Yeah. <laughs> We can also change our clothes to further customize our avatars. Hey, check out this cool dance I can do. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we can use face tracking to, and combine it with uh, animations and emotes to further express for more expression. Uh, this is just one of many possibilities achievable with pen screens avatar tech. All right, I hope you enjoyed uh, the demo of Pagan. Um, Looking for, uh, forward for you to check out uh, the app that's coming out soon with uh, the photoreal avatars. So stay tuned on pinscreen.com. Thank you. That's what they call a face for radio. Um, <laughs>